Hello, and welcome back to see us converting our lifeboat into a cruising liveaboard. If you are interested, please like and subscribe to follow us along. Today I am moving Hig with her boat to the jetty, as it is a nice sunny day with no wind to get the rest of the new foredeck sorted. It makes work easier and more safe when I can just get on and off the boat with no hassle. It's easy enough to turn her by holding on the, the bow rope and pushing the stern off gently. I put a line on her stern to keep her from swinging too far around and to be able to pull her back along the jetty when the work is done. The boat is looking very shiny in the early morning dew. And it is very easy to see from the faded orange on the back which part of her is starting to dry out in the sunshine. Before I can start cutting the cover for the vents need to come off. I have taken out the 12 screw that held them into place and have to break the sealant with a putty knife. It is stuck on there well, but they come off after some cutting. The second one was being even more stubborn, but I got them off eventually. Before I turned the boat I drilled six holes through the GRP to give myself some marks to work to for cutting out the front of the boat. I am connecting the holes, so I can cut to the lines and make sure I stay within the box and do not cut into the interior of the boat. To cut through the GRP I am using an angle grinder with a cutting disc. It is very dusty, so I do not mind using that outside and it does the job very fast as you can see. The angle grinder jumps every now and then as it grips the glass in the GRP. As long as you are aware of that happening and hold on it is not so much of a problem. Yeah. 
It is not too difficult to cut straight lines with the angle grinder as long as you do not go too fast and keep the machine in line. If you force it too much the blade might break which can make bits fly off it, which can be very dangerous. To see how it all comes together was the highlight of the day for me. It is so good to see how it looks after all the prep work it took to get to this point. I will be a great addition to the safety of working on the foredeck and having a nice place to sit and relax.